Would you like to know how I got started in real estate? I mean, let's get to know each other. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Hey yo, hey yo, where's my theme music? Insert theme music here. <laughs> Just kidding. Can y'all think of the era that I grew up in? Anyways, but let me tell you about how I got started in real estate. It was 11 years ago and I was studying. Well, let me tell you it this way. My grandmother became a victim of predatory lending. She lost her home because of it. And once that happened, I was dead set on knowing this business front and back so that I can be the trusted real estate agent in the community. I needed people to understand that there are people out here who have your best interests at heart and just want to help you and help you understand how this process works. So I was determined to do that. And that's what propelled me to get to go back to school to get my real estate license. Then I experienced homelessness and I ended up living in my car for a year and nine months, y'all. I'm gonna insert a picture right here so you can see a couple of the different places where I stayed. While I was living in my car, I was studying, going to school. I found a part-time job because by before then I was just going to school. So I found a part-time job and I was just doing what I needed to do to get it, to get my license and just change my life. I mean, this was completely off guard and totally not expected, but you know, um, it is what it is and we can go into that another time but i ended up getting my real estate license in the summer of 2012 and i really can't remember anything else about 2012 to be honest with you but i was working just the fact that i was focused okay you hear me focused i was working i was studying my behind off others were out you know partying and doing all that stuff i would be in my car studying i ain't got time to be partying i gotta pass this test took this crash course it prepared me for my exam and voila i passed my test and then i ended up celebrating in my car meaning i was just like oh my gosh look i passed my real estate exam yay so when i got started in the business i didn't know what i was doing now mind you i have a degree in culinary arts Prior to that, I was studying business administration because I always knew that I wanted to own my own business. But going into real estate, not having a clue on really how the process worked, I just said, you know, the only thing I want to know right now and focus on is how does it work? How does this industry work? How does the process work? What do we do? Because I used to study multifamily and short sales. Like I was obsessed with it and I wanted to be an investor in real estate, but I got into the sales portion of the industry and getting into the sale portion of the industry um it taught me a lot it taught me a lot and this is probably going to take a part two but going back to me passing my real estate exam getting licensed and starting at a big name brokerage i had no clue what i was doing i didn't know the importance of having a mentor. I didn't know what tools we needed. I was very teachable and coachable and trainable. But one thing that you will find difficult is if you are working a part-time job, it's hard to engulf and submerge yourself into the business so that you can truly learn it. And once I did that, <laughs> I hit the ground running. So I was at this big name brokerage for maybe three to six months and I saw some signs on the side on the side of the highway, you know, the we buy ca houses for cash. I was like, well, those are investors. They'll be buying all the time. And that's how I got experience like writing offers and showing property. I said, you know what? I want more. I need to know the back end of this and the front end of real estate. I ended up going to work for a, another mortgage company after working for uh, the part-time job I was at. But they wanted me to like give up my license and all that stuff. And I was like, absolutely not, I'm not doing that. So after that, I found a, they let me go. 
and I found a full-time job as a real estate assistant at uh, this small brokerage that taught me everything. You understand? I will forever be grateful for this company because I was their real estate agent. I wanted to know more about the contract, so I paid for myself to be certified as a transaction coordinator, and you know, they we built up a great relationship and a rapport so that when they had to go out of town, I was taken over as well. So I held a lot of jobs in that one company so that I can learn the business, but you don't have to do that. And I'll tell you why at the end. And um, it taught me so much and I have no regrets for that. Um, then I got to the point where I was doing so much for the company, I wasn't doing anything for myself.